I'll guide you through how you can go and make a Roblox shirt. So having a Roblox shirt is really cool because it means you can wear your own stuff, but it also means you can go and make Robux from selling it. So the first thing you need to do is just head to Roblox on the website. And what you then need to do is go to the top and go and tap on create. Now, when you go and tap on create, you may get taken to slightly different pages, but the best way to get to the page where I am now is you need to go up to your address bar and just type in create.roblox.com. I'm going to go and type it in now just to show you guys what it looks like. Go and hit enter and you'll be taken here. And what you then need to do is go across to avatar items. After you've clicked on avatar items, you then need to go and click on shirts. And you may be wondering what the difference between a t-shirt and a shirt is. Well, a t-shirt is just you go and upload an image like these, or a shirt, you can go and fully design it. You can create hoodies, add textures and things like that. So shirts are a lot more advanced. So after you've gone and select shirts, then what you need to do is tap on upload asset. Don't worry, I know you're thinking, I haven't even gone and created one yet. Don't worry. And once you're on upload asset, we can then go and tap on learn more. You'll get taken to this page here called classic clothing. And this is basically an article on everything about clothes. So all you need to do is scroll down and TC shirts and pants. And here are the templates we actually need. So in this case here, because we want to go and create a shirt, we want to use this one here. As you can see here, it says uh, leg, which means it's for pants. And this is for arms, which means it's the shirts. So what you need to do is simply go and right click on this image and press save image as and your file explorer will then open and you need to choose where you want to go and download it. So I just downloaded it to my downloads folder. You've now gone and downloaded the template and now what we need to do is go and edit it to go and customize our own shirt. So we need to go and use an online free software for this. So go and open up a new tab. I'm just on Google. And what you want to do is go and search for something called photo P. So type it in like so, literally photo then P and then make sure you go to photop.com. Once you're on here, you can go and press on the cross in the top right like this. And then what you need to do is go and tap on open from computer. Your file explorer will then open. And what we need to do is go and click on the template we just downloaded. So that's it there. So I've highlighted it, then tap open and it's now gonna upload it and here it is. What I'm personally going to do is just go and zoom in on this because it's quite zoomed out. To do that, you just press on control and plus and then we can zoom in. And just to explain how this template works, as you can see here, it says Robux folds up these faces to go and create a shirt for your avatar. And then you can go and see where the faces are going to go and be with these diagrams on the left hand side here. So what we need to do is go and remove these colors here and then we can start going and adding our own images and textures to go and create awesome clothing. So head over to the left and what you need to do is go and grab on the rectangle select. Once you've selected the selection tool, now what we need to do is go and remove this. So what we can do is just go and grab one of this top corner here, for example, then hold your mouse button and drag. And as you can see, we're now selecting stuff. So all you want to do is go and select the whole area like this is then let go. And as you can see, it's now got lines around it. And if I then go and press on the delete key on my keyboard, as you can see, it then goes and deletes it. After you've gone and deleted it, the area is still selected. So then to go and unselect it, go and tap on select and press deselect, or you can just go and press on control and D. And so we need to go and then do the up and down part as well. So I'm placing my cursor in the top and then I'm going to go and drag down like so and go and select that area. It's now selected, so I'll then go and press on the delete key again, and that's it. So I'm now gonna go and repeat, selecting the areas for the right arm and left arm, and catch up with you after I've done that. So I've now gone and selected the areas and deleted them, but I've just noticed I've gone and missed a few bits, so I'm just gonna go back over them now. And there we go, we're now all ready to go and start adding some textures. So what I'm going to do is go and head to a new tab into Google, and I'm now gonna go and search for like a cool texture. So in this case, I'm gonna go and type in for t-shirt texture like this, and then go and press search, and then go and tap on images. And then as you can see, we can then go see, we can go and see all these different textures here. So this one looks quite cool. So I'm gonna go and click on it. And then what I'm going to do is go and right click on it and tap on save image as, and go and save it into my downloads. And then go and click on save, and it's now downloaded it. So I'll then head back to photo P, and then go to the top left and click on file, press open and place, and then go and find what you just downloaded and go and double click on it or click on it and press open. And when you first bring it into Photopy, it's gonna be on top of your template. So what you then want to do is press on tick in the top, press on confirm, 
And then what you want to do is go over to the right to your layers and grab it and then drag it below the background layer uh, just so we can keep it within our template. Then make sure you've got the layer selected like I do here and then go to the top left and press on transform controls and then we can go and change the size of it. And then grab one of the squares, we can go and change the size of it and I want to make sure that it fills up everything. And then what you can do is either drag it. One thing I recommend you do is that you keep these bottom squares empty because as you can see, there's these checkered area and this basically means transparent. So when we go and put this onto Roblox, we can then go and have our hands here because of course at the end of your hoodie or whatever you're making, you're gonna go and have some skin showing. So I like to go and keep those free just like that. And then once you're happy with it, you can then go and tap on the tick like so. And then you can also go and turn off transform controls in the top left if you'd like. And so guys, this is just the start of your shirt. Now what you can do is start adding more textures, maybe add some text. To do that, just go over to the left and tap on the text tool. You can also draw things on as well. And as I said, you can do literally anything you want with it. One thing I'm going to go and do is just add a, a picture. So I'm gonna add a picture of my Guide Realm logo. So once again, I'll tap on File and then press Open and Place. I'll tap on Open just like that and there my logo is. And then once again, I'm gonna go and resize it just so it's right. I have it quite small. And just like we did before, once you finish moving an image, go and tap on the confirm button in the top. And so that's it guys. Of course, you can go and do so much more. I'm just gonna keep it simple as this is just a quick guide. Once you're finished and you want to put it on Roblox, then what you can do is go to the top left and tap on file. And then you want to go and tap on export and you want to make it PNG just so we can keep our skin on any areas you want it. So I'll press PNG and that's how it's gonna look. And then you can go and name it if you like, but you don't have to. Then just tap on save just like this and it's then going to go and download. So now what you want to do is head back to Roblox and you need to come back to the create page if you've gone off it. To get here, you can just type in create.roblox.com and hit enter. And then what you'll need to do is go and select avatar items, then tap on shirts. And then what you can do is tap on upload assets like this. And then what you can do is go and tap on upload again here and then go and find the shirt you just downloaded from Photopea, highlight it and tap open and there it is. So now if I go and scroll down, you can go and name this. So I'm gonna name this a uh, hoodie and then you can add a description if you like, I'm not going to. And what you can do is go and tap on upload. It will cost you 10 Robux, but that's fine. I think if you've got premium, it's free. I'll tap there, then press upload again. And there we go, it's now uploading. At the minute it's off sale, but you can make it for, for sale if you'd like. To do that, you just click on the shirt and then you can go and tap on on sale if you'd like. But now I want to show you what it looks like on Roblox. Here we are back on Roblox, then go over to the left hand side and tap on avatar. And then to find your shirt, go and press on clothing, go down to classic shirts, and then you can go and select your hoodie. Here mine is, it may take a moment or two for Roblox to process it, and that's it. You can then go and wear and enjoy your shirt. And of course, as I showed you before, you can also go and put it on sale and start earning Robux from it if you get sales from it. So that's it guys. For more useful Roblox tutorials, then definitely go and check out the Guide Ram channel for more. We upload multiple times a day to keep you up to date with loads of other tech stuff, as well as Roblox. So yeah, if you found this useful, consider leaving a like. I look forward to catching you in the next one. Peace.